Today we're in Washington to meet up with Cliff High and chat to him about his Webbot program and how he uses it to make predictions in cryptocurrency space. Cliff's got lots of interesting thoughts and opinions on all manner of subjects, but today we're going to focus more on cryptocurrencies. So my premise is that all humans are psychic and that we leak out our psychic impressions. We have to get them out. And so as you do things, those psychic impressions will come out. The vast majority of people don't acknowledge that they're psychic and it leaks out in their choice of language. There are times in your normal conversation that you'll seek for language that is extra typical, that is outside of your usual boundary. And that's where the psychic impression is trying to leak out by the choice of language. And so what I do is I, I scrape the, the uh, public uh, internet with software, aggregate all of the language, compare it to the language from that previous uh, scraping, and look for those outliers. And then I make an interpretation on the outliers uh, based on a 20 plus year history of uh, investigating this. When, they, when they, we started up in December, um, I expected that there would be some uh, pick up over the 13,000 point. I never suspected it would run as high as 20,000. I knew that when it did, we were in for a major uh, drop down and that we were in the midst of some very large manipulation at that time in our very small market. That was coincident with the, um, a number of hedge funds starting to get into cryptocurrencies as investment vehicles and, or digital assets, however they want to characterize them. And so I suspected in December that, uh-oh, we're going to be faced with this particular run-up period, magnify it way the hell, crash it way the hell, and then write it back up again on that next run. And they'll, they'll attempt to do that as long as they are able to do that within the nature of the market itself, which is a relatively small one. There, there is that, that whole emotional uh, froth that's entered into it. It's within my language. I see it. Uh, the forecasts are that, that we'll get into a, um, a satisfaction feeling from that uh, that will uh, dampen that off. And uh, that'll happen April, May, and, and be well set by the time we get into June. And then later on this year, we will have this other form of um, draw for purchases of cryptocurrency. We're going to get some real uh, s staggering successes out of this, uh, is my opinion. That we're looking now at uh, the next wave of technology, the new Googles, the, you know, the new Amazons, this kind of thing. So I had a need for uh, understanding the technology, so I purchased some Bitcoin. And I just bought them at uh, Coinbase, I think. And I was just messing about with it. It wasn't worth very much at the time. And I, um, I bought some socks with it, okay? That was the only, only thing on the internet that was readily available that could be shipped to me, where people took the cryptocurrencies uh, in exchange for the goods. And I wanted to see the whole process through. I actually wanted to make a purchase. I wanted to see how it worked. And so I bought these just great alpaca socks and they were six Bitcoin per pair of socks. So these are, are socks that have been put away to rot gently on their own because they're too damned expensive to wear. What I'm looking for is the adoption rate of cryptocurrencies to follow that of ordinary technology. And we're in the uh, visionary stage now. We're about to shift into the, or we're in the process of shifting into uh, the early adopters. And so we'll go from one and a half percent of the population that's uh, more or less that's actively involved. And at the end of the early adopter phase, maybe 2019, 2020, we'll have about 13 percent of the population involved. So it's going to be very heady days for all of us this time next year as that kettle comes to a boil, because it'll be indicative of really getting into that 13 and a half percent larger mass of the population uh, within cryptocurrencies.